That's about the closest thing to what the fish, or the kahawa at least, are feeding on right now out in the bay. So we're going to take out a couple of rods, some tackle. That is my dad's old Prowler 13 fishing kayak. It's a bloody good kayak, it's caught me a lot of fish. And I am very grateful for dad leaning at pace in the truck. You're coming mate. Oh we better get a paddle. Stay there. I'm not going to go too far without a paddle, it wouldn't be the first I've done that. Anyway, uh, this is the very first kayak fish that I've had since I was in hospital seven months ago. I had a couple of tumours removed, cancer, advanced prostate cancer, and the writing was on the wall, it wasn't looking too flash, but that's all changed because I have now got a clean bill of health, and other than not having a paddle, I also don't have cancer, so where's my bloody paddle? I'm kind of excited to get out there and do it, but I ain't going to go anywhere if I don't find my bloody paddle. Right, uh, put the GoPro down and find the paddle and then we can go and do some fishing. Not surprising I couldn't find my paddle, I'm the messiest bastard you've ever met in your life. The paddle is in the garage of course, under all that shit. That's my paddle. Bruno, you guard one more way mate, okay? You go, good boy. That's your good dog. Look after the farm. Good boy. Stay. So, uh, not surprising that there got lost. Been buried under a world of shit that's happened in the last seven or eight months. Seven months since I've been away. Beautiful day down here. Look at this. Don't see any birds. Oh, I do. I see a few over there working on it, actually. From the point. Tide's racing in, that's where we're going to go. Right over there. And head on over there. Put a lure on. Cast it out. Not sure if I'll take pace with me or not. We'll see how we get on. This hasn't been in the water for a long time. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but right out there there's a Labrador that he's spun right out to my launch and he's barking at all the seagulls, scaring them off it. Keep him on. He's doing a bloody good job. He's way out at sea. Typical Labrador. He's bloody miles out. Trying to catch a seagull. Pace like, what the heck? You guys see him right out there? Come on, Pace. Good boy, stay, stay there, stay, get your seat, just stay there, stay, good boy. Is that your black Labrador out there? Only a Labrador do that, eh? Well, she's actually, she's more hunt away. Oh, is she? And help, but there's a little bit of black lab there. Good girl, doing a good job anyway, keeping the uh, bird shit off my boat, keep her on. There's a big goose over there. Haven't seen those here before. A few oyster catches. Just towing one lure behind me, still no strikes. Pace on the back, still on their pace, can't see you. Well, there you go. Good boy. That's a good dog. The tide's still coming in pretty fast, so we're not really making much ground speed, but we're moving quite fast over the water. I generally only fish with one line when I'm fishing for kawai with the kayak but because I haven't had a strike in half an hour I'm going to stick a second one out. It's not ideal if you get a fish on you've got to get the other line in or tangles but it just increases my odds because so far I've caught nothing for lunch and I've expended quite a lot of energy just going against this current so I'm going to put the green one out the little small baby one. Now I lent this rod to one of the young fellas I take out in the boat and Somehow he managed to snap the end off it, so it's a lot shorter than it was meant to be. Still no strikes. Oh, a couple of hard paddles. Speed up a little bit, so we don't lose too much. Put this fellow in the water. Back in there. 
Gonna stop too soon. The world will be on the ground. I'm just gonna paddle here in this current. This is a good place for fish to feed. And my lures will keep moving through the water as the current comes in. Hopefully we get a strike. Just going back and forward across this piece of water here. No birds work in the water. Tide's coming in, it's a good time for a car to come in for a feed, but still nothing happening. And Pace is moving around the boat quite a bit, not making it very easy, aren't you Pace? Yes. Not sure it's such a good idea to take him out or not really, to be honest. He's a good wee companion, but he's making a lot harder work. Just a magic day to be out here. So paddling a kayak is actually something you do with your core strength, not your arms and your shoulders so much as you think. So you put your paddle on it and you let your core pull it, pull from your core. It strengthens your core and it saves your arms and it's good for your core. Core strength is basically the guts of everything that uh, literally that keeps your back strong, your belly strong and stops you having shoulder problems and arm problems, everything. If your core isn't strong you'll suffer. This is a good way to strengthen your core. It's been a long time since I've done this, seven months, so I'm finding this quite hard for my first paddle. Been going for an hour solid now, and still no fish. I would have thought I got a fish by now, but that's the nature of hunting and fishing. If it wasn't that, it would be called shopping. You don't always get a kill, you don't always get to eat something. You can expend a lot of energy, and I think our ancestors did that. They would go out and think about it. They they would die if they didn't get a kill after a certain amount of time and they would go out quite often very hungry. And our bodies actually have adapted to hunt in a fasted state because of that, although we don't do that today. And that's why the best physical training you can do for your body is known as fasted training because that's how we evolve. So you're in a state of autophagy, you're hungry and your body's saying, hey, I've got to find something to eat now or I'll die, I'm starving. Basically everything gets used, your body goes into a state of autophagy and it uses up all the old dead cells that aren't being used, it reburns anything that can be burnt, cleans your system out and then of course you keep on hunting until you get that kill and then you park up and feast, build up your fat cells again. That's how we evolved pretty much. We didn't have like food 24-7, we didn't snack out through the day. We might in the summertime or the end of summer, the springtime when there was fruit on the trees but most of the time we were either hungry or eating and parking up and digesting. We've lost that in today's Western society. Hence we have more problems health-wise than we ever have done, particularly around the sort of ages, my age, 50 and that. There's a lot of medicine to counter those uh, problems that makes us live, but our quality of life isn't quite as good as it could be. That's why I really strongly recommend the ketogenic diet if you're about my age. It's a good diet, it sort of replicates that quite a bit, combined with intermittent fasting. You will power yourself up if you're on a ketogenic diet. What that means is instead of burning sugar and burning carbohydrate, you are burning fat. And fat is a much more efficient fuel than carbohydrates and sugar. It's a much more natural fat. You're burning ketones, you're in a state of ketosis, you're actually 30% better off, like power ratio wise, and one of the reasons when I came out of surgery, and it was a pretty hard surgery because I had an infection, I had blood loss, one of the reasons I powered out of it pretty quick was I was in a state of ketosis. And I suffered complications to that surgery, but still got back on the horse pretty quick, hunting and fishing, back out there, and a lot of that had to do with diet. Most of you won't do this because you're uh, not wanting to give up your, your beers, or give up your, your toast in the morning, or your potatoes, or your your bread or your bagels, bagels, not bagels, bagels. What's a bagel? It's a mix between, um, I don't know what a bagel is. It's a word I just made up, doesn't exist. All I had this morning is a coffee with a bit of cream in it. And still no strikes. Report back soon. Well, that's all that line's bloody caught. I think we're gonna keep this one in. And get the other one in before we get tangled up. Looks like no fish to duck. Oh, hold, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What's going on here? Fish on. Happy days. Right when I just about given up. Happy days. Not a big one. But that'll be big enough for the feed. Under the boat. There he goes. Oh, beauty. Come 
Come on, mate. In you come. Come on. No, don't come off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a kawai, one of my most favourite eating fish, a great sashimi fish, a great fish smoked, and it'll be great for lunch today. One thing's important to do with kawai is to bleed them. The quickest way to bleed a fish like this, uh, it's a little bit graphic, so if you're a bit squeamish with stuff like that, don't watch, but the quickest way to bleed him is to snap his neck back like this. Breaking the neck and letting the blood pump out. You can actually gut them at the same time if you want to like that. Just pull the gills out and take a bit of guts out, but you'll get most of the blood out. There we go. That is lunch. Get a wee bit of speed up so my lure doesn't end up at the bottom. While well, I'm not paddling and I'm casting at the same time. It's a general plan anyway. Yeah, as quickly as we can. Right behind us like that. Keep the pressure on it. Keep paddling. That way we don't get snagged on the bottom. I'm enjoying this. I'm loving it. Getting the body working, getting the muscles working, breathing the air, feeling the fresh air. It's just bloody awesome, eh, Pace? Hell yeah! Oh, I see another boat coming in. Oh, I love kayak fishing. Gives your body a good workout. You've got 360 degrees all around you. It's quiet, stealth. And uh, the fish don't hear the, the motor or the clanking at the bottom of the boat. Face in the back. Good boy. Fish on. Not playing like a fish. Fish on, is it? There we go. Another one right out in the middle here. Happy days. Happy days. Oh, you beauty. Never caught one out here before. He's gonna run too. Geez, they fight. They bloody fight, the old cowboy. Hell they do. Oh, come on, baby. Not on the boat yet. Got a very light line, so I don't want to snap it. Come on, mate, then you come. <laughs> yeah, beauty. Oh, mate. Come on up, you come. I think we got your stuff, eh? Oh, just, that's a nice one. It's all about that same eating size. Happy days. Look at that, eh? Another nice kawaii. Oh, beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. So we're gonna bleed him out straight away. Another beautiful fish. Look at this, look at that. Happy days. I carry a wet towel with me to keep the fish from getting hot in the sun. And also to put over my feet so I don't get sunburnt. Because the New Zealand sun is pretty, pretty brutal. Well, that's going really well. What started off as a hard bit of uh, fishing has turned out to be really good. Right by the truck. Good place to have lunch, eh, Pace? There you go, Pace. There you go, boy. There you go. What a beautiful place in the world. My backyard. Pan around slowly. Got a load of birds over here singing the trees. Mount Arthur over there. And there's plenty of uh, bird life. Just parked up there. Get yeah, some pine cones off those trees over there. See those big old, big old pine trees? Make a fire and cook my fish for lunch. Mm. 
McNuggets. Fish and chip fiber. Someone's coffee. Simon, uh, who's a patron and also a good bastard in the UK, gave me this uh, knife. He gave me a few of them actually. I've given two away and I'm keeping this one for myself. It's such a good knife. And have a cut towards yourself, kids. Take that inside piece out with the bones. dog that would enjoy that. And there's our nice butterfly seagulls know it's happening. We know a dog that will enjoy those ribs too, don't we Pace, eh? Here you go boy. We don't want ribs, do we Pace? You can have those. That's the rest of the rib cage there. Boy. And that is a bonus butterfly. There's no bones in it at all. Heaps of salt. And I've got some lemon. Have with that later on. Close here, Pace. This uh, fire's burned out nice now how I want it, it's got a really good firm heat, so I've butterflied this, looks pretty good there, You're pretty hot. Mmm, smells good. I've taken the head off and turned the fish over, and this head's going to be for a certain dog. Hey mate, when it's cooled down a bit, a bit too hot for you yet. It's got the eyes in it and the brain, all the really good stuff. High in omega-3, so that'll be good for Pace's lunch as well. And I think this is just about ready. Now we're looking at. Can't be too far. <laughs> I'm going to call that done. Okay, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to poke it there for a minute. And move my cup of tea, we're going to put some lemon on that. That down there, not for you, Pace. Not for you, mate. No, no. So basically, just salt and lemon. And lots of lemon on there. It's a beautiful with lemon. Look at that. And let that sit there for a wee bit. Soak it up. I am one hungry boy. I may just eat the other fish yet. We'll see how we go with this one. I actually eat a couple of lemons every day. Very high in. I haven't seen good for you. Keep away all the bugs. The first thing in the morning I have is a lemon and some apple cider vinegar. Yep, that's out. It's so refreshing. 
making me soak with that fish. Right, let's eat. I'm very thankful for this day and I'm thankful for you guys joining me. Oh, tea. I needed that. That pace. He sees fish, but he doesn't get it till I've eaten. Rules are humans first, dogs second. That's our butterfly kahawai, salt and lemon. I didn't take the scales off, I cooked the scales on because we're not eating that. We'll pretty much just about eat it straight off here. In theory there shouldn't be any bones in the middle, there might be a few on the outside if I miss the ribs, but overall it should be pretty good. Oh. Out of 10. No. 10. It's the second time I've done a cook up and given it 10. I don't often give 10s, but that's perfect. It's all coming off so nicely. Juicy. Not too too dry. Now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's my breakfast. First meal of the day. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Good luck with your own fishing and gathering, harvesting food, feeding your friends and your family and yourself. Most importantly yourself, because if you can't feed yourself and look after yourself, you can't look after everybody else. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it, and if you didn't like it, smash the dislike button and say why you didn't like it so I can improve, because I always know that I could do better. Let me know. And uh, be good. Can't be good, be careful. See you later. You want that head now, mate, hey? You want that head? There you go. Brains and all. Oh, it's a bit hot still. Just on the edge. Like that. Too hot. Oh, he's into it. Good boy. Drink. Have a drink boy.